Let's talk Oregon recruiting. What a weekend up in Eugene. Dan Lanning just racking up commitments and also surging into the top five. We saw huge commitments this weekend from five-star cornerback Dorian Brew. Are you surprised the Ducks were able to pull him out of Texas? Well, I was a little surprised that Dorian Brew ultimately picked Oregon because when we had him at the On3 Elite Series, he said at that time going into his official visits that USC – and Ohio State were his top two. Now, I talked to some people that spent some time with Dorian Brew during his visit to Oregon, and they said that they thought that experience went real well. I will say that I was told that that visit uh, or his commitment to Oregon came as a surprise to everybody yesterday, with the exception of Coach Tosh Lupoy and Coach Hampton. So even Dan Lanning, I think, got a nice little surprise <laughs> yesterday when Dorian Brew announced his commitment to the Ducks. A big pickup for them. They got a chance to finish number one. I'm working on a story about that for On3 that you'll be able to read in the morning. But the Ducks are pushing for the top class in the country right now. Dorian Brew is a recruiting win that gets them even more into that conversation. Yeah, and they also land running back Jordan Davison over the weekend, adding to Desan Brom, who committed earlier, Brandon Finney, Zaire Addison, Josiah Sharma. I mean, an unbelievable June for the Ducks, and they are not done. There's more five-star targets on the board. We got wide receiver DeCorian Moore, DJ Pickett, Michael Terry the third, Trey McNutt. Uh, the first two on this list, DeCorian Moore, DJ Pickett, I don't want to call them long shots because Oregon is definitely in it, but who do you think ultimately the Ducks have a better shot it pulling more or pick it well some of those names right dorian brew they trailed for coming into the official yeah. brandon finney they trailed penn state coming into the official josiah sharma uh, i talked to some sources around that oregon did not seem like they were even in the top two coming into his week of his decision and they land him. So this is a program that's closing fast on people when Dan Lanning and his staff are having final conversations with top targets. DJ Pickett has been to campus four times now. So we can sit here and say that we think that LSU has the edge for him because of his relationship with Corey Raymond and their defensive back history and how comfortable he feels on campus. Or we could say, hey, Florida and Miami, that they have the seasons they have. Uh, they want to have this year. Maybe they ultimately land DJ Pickett, but you can't sleep on Oregon for Pickett after another visit, another yeah. experience on campus. And his dad and DJ have talked about the way Oregon pours into their players, not just on the field, but off the field, the connections that you have, the uh, networking that you have with Oregon alum, Nike being there, all that is something that they emphasize as much as any recruit in this cycle. So Oregon is more than a sleeper for DJ Pickett. They're one of the front runners. And that also goes for DeCorian Moore. And so the, look, Texas RPMs are favoring Texas. I am not in on the on three RPMs. That does not mean I'm discounting Texas. I'm just saying <laughs> I could see DeCorian Moore leaving the Lone Star State. There was times where I was close to predicting Texas, but Oregon, look, when he was committed to LSU, as always, but Texas and Oregon are right there. He's been to Oregon like five, six times talking to his mom, there's not a staff that's doing a better job of recruiting to Corian Moore from the head coach, Dan Lanning, all the way down to Marjan Moore's words, the water boy. And everybody in between has made Oregon, that made that Moore family feel very comfortable. They like Will Stein and his offense. They like receivers coach Junior Adams. They like where that program's at. So we could look up and see to Corian Moore in Oregon's class as well. There's no doubt about it. And Ohio State and LSU are trying to have something to say about that. Certainly Texas. Mm -hmm. But Oregon's got a great shot at DeCorian Moore. Now, one prospect I know they got a great shot at is five-star athlete Michael Terry. After that official visit, it seems like the Ducks carried the momentum of his recruitment. Now, it's been a couple weeks. Has that worn off, or are the Ducks still sitting in a great spot? No, I spoke with Michael Terry's dad. I spoke with Michael after the visit. spoke mm -hmm. with his dad a few days later. They loved it, man. And Dan Lanning, he personally recruits all these top targets. He's as involved as any head coach there is on the trail, and it resonates. Michael Terry is a guy that plays a lot of positions on the high school level. He wants to do that in college. Texas showed him a way that they could do that schematically with him. Uh, A&M is more of a traditional based offense, but mm -hmm. they also want to get creative with him under their new offensive coordinator. But Oregon – they had DeAnthony Thomas hanging out with them. And they're like, look, we can utilize you the same way that DeAnthony Thomas was utilizing his heyday in Eugene. And that was exciting. They also liked the vibe, the people. 
Oregon is giving those in-state programs a run for their money for Michael Terry the third. Okay, now Trey McNutt. He's a guy that for the first probably three, four months of the cycle, I had penciled into Ohio State's class, but the picks have been coming in for Oregon after a great official visit in June. Is Trey McNutt about to be Trey McDuck pretty soon? Well, not pretty soon because he's going to take his decision into the fall, watch some teams play, take a couple more official visits. But going into the season, Oregon is the leader, in my opinion, talking to Trey, his mom, sources with knowledge of the recruitment. Oregon has done all the right things, made him feel like a major priority, a guy that can have an instant impact, playing for some terrific defensive-minded coaches and Dan Lanning, Tosh Lupoy, and Coach Hampton. Uh, they like the vibe around there. So I think Oregon's setting the pace for Trey McNutt right now. Yeah. All right, Oregon fans, exciting times. Talk to me. Who, Which five-star do you think will land in Eugene next? Let us know. Comment section below.